Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. I wanted to do a garden update now that everything is planted. And this is going to be a two-part video because I've got a lot to show you. So this is the onion bed and I've got a few different varieties here. Some of them are from a friend. These are Italian, or sorry, Talon onion. And those are supposed to be a good um, hybrid that's good for storing. And then we have Walla Walla, which I've been wanting to try for quite a while and finally got some starts from a friend. And then some that I started myself are the New York Early and Tropina Lunga. And then I'm doing fennel for the first time this year. This is a bulbing variety. And it's doing really pretty awesome. I've got five fennels here in this bed and probably will be ready to harvest here before too long. And then I've got some red cabbage in here. This is another hybrid. I got these seeds from a friend online. This is Integro, which is another hybrid. And it looks like it's just starting to maybe get ahead there here pretty soon. And then we've got a couple of different bean varieties. And I have these on two TP things made out of bamboo. And I planted these about a week ago. I don't have anything coming up in the, in the paparola that I could see, but I do have quite a few of the fort portals that have come up. And the fort portal is actually, the, the bean is green, which is really a, a pretty cool color. Um, but I put three seeds around each pole, and it looks like most of those have come up. So let's take a look at one of the other beds. Oh, I also wanted to mention, see all these red sprouts coming up here? This is all amaranth that I had in this bed last year, and the chickens didn't do a very good job eating all the seeds out of the bed, so they're just coming up everywhere. So I haven't decided if I'm going to pull those out or leave them in. I'll probably leave some in, but they're getting to be quite a, li quite a lot. I've also got a few tomato volunteers in there, which I'll probably pull out. Okay, let's go to the other side of the garden. Okay, so this is the garlic bed. I have, I think, five varieties of garlic. I have a mystery Gilroy garlic um, here on the, the front there. And then I've got music garlic, which is a really big garlic, almost elephant garlic, but it's, it's not elephant garlic but it is quite big. And then we have Nootka Rose, which I have grown before. I think last year was the first year I grew that one. And then we have Purple Glazer. This is my first year with that one too. And then Turkish Giant, which is one of my favorites. I just wish it did, did better with storage. Um, the, the ones from last year are already starting to go bad. So, And then I have this shade cloth here. And I have it covering the lettuce and the brassicas. So I originally started covering these because there was a rabbit loose in the backyard that was eating all the lettuce and also the kale. Um, but now I'm covering it because of the heat. The lettuce really doesn't like the heat, so that helps keep the the sun from getting on the getting directly on the plants. But we have red romaine here. And the, the rabbit, you could see, you could still see some leaves where the rabbit chewed on it, but it's it's really coming back pretty pretty nicely. And then we have six different varieties of kale. This is a blue dazzling kale, which is the first time I've grown that one. And then we have a Russian kale, which is a pretty pretty common type of kale there. And then we have collards in the middle. Also in the middle is a late started scarlet kale and I haven't harvested any of that one yet because it was started later and it's just not ready yet. And then another cool neat variety is Bear Necessities kale. And it's, it's a cross between Russian kale and a few others. I'll have to look it up. But the, the leaves are very frilly, kind of like icicles. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then we have regular lacinato or dinosaur kale. And then next to that, I'm also trying for the first time, is kohlrabi. And this is a purple kohlrabi. I've got, I think, five 
squished in here. Uh, but it's doing really well, getting lots of leaves and starting to get a little, little bulb at the bottom there. And then next to that we have one lettuce kind of stuck in there. And we have a purple pak choy. That was kind of a leftover. I started growing that in my arrow garden and I had one left over, so I just stuck it in the garden wherever I could find a space. And then we have shallots. I've never been very successful growing shallots, so I'm not sure if that's... This is better than any I've tried growing before. I got this from a seed swap online. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to look like, but I've got three of those, and this is a gray, gray variety of shallot. And then in the front row I have some walking onions and these I grew last year and just moved them over into this bed um, in the fall and they're starting to get some flowers on top and then in this bed over here we have some more beans and we have this is a Chinese red long bean and I planted it a day after the other beans and so far I'm only seeing one that has sprouted over here that guy there. So hopefully the rest will come up here pretty soon. And then I've got some tomatoes in this bed, but I have a few a few companion plants. These are all flowers. Oh, looks like that one is just starting to to bloom there. But these are some dwarf stalks. I've never grown these before, but they should be different colors. Looks like this one might be yellow. And the other one over there was purple. And then the other companions we have here are Xenia and Marigolds, which I always do. And then one I'm trying this year is Shungiku, which is a kind of a yellow daisy looking flower. And it's also called Chop Suey. It has a bunch of other names, but Chop Suey is probably the most common that you might have heard of. And then for the tomatoes, this is my large tomato bed. So we have the Murado and the Aladdin's Lamp, Blue Beauty. And then on the end here, we have two tomatoes from Kenosha. These are kind of project tomatoes that a friend online is doing. And he's been kind of breeding these for, for several years. And I thought I'd give them a try. They're like an Italian a large Italian plum tomato. And then we have the same volunteer or same companions here on the other side of the bed. And then we have Moon Glow. And then this is Giant Honey. And the last one is Peach Blow Sutton. And I use, if you didn't see my tomato planting video, I use a, a shade cloth or a weed cloth on the bottom. And then these are the Texas tomato cages, which are a very sturdy tomato cage, which I need for my plants. And then the bed next to it, we have our summer squash here. This one is a round zucchini. And then this one here is a cocozelle zucchini, which I grew last year. And I have the same companions over here. And this is my cherry tomato bed. We have Amy's sugar gem. And then this is the Brad's Atomic Grape. And Indigo Cherry Drop, my favorite. Berry's Crazy Cherry. And then I'll get to the other side after I show you this here. This is the, the carrots. I have six different varieties of carrots here. And the rabbit got into this bed as well and ate some of them. So I put this fencing around to keep them out. It seems to be working. We have a couple of lettuce volunteers in there as well. And we've got chives, and I've already harvested a lot of the chives and made some, some chive vinegar. But I left this patch here for the bees. And then this is the part that I cut, and I just cut these like a week ago. And I cut them all the way to the ground, and look how much has grown already just in a week. And this is the garlic chives. They're a little bit different. They have a more of a grassy looking uh, leaf. It's kind of a flat one. Okay, and then we have our other tomatoes here. So that's the sun gold. It should probably get the, t the first tomatoes, I'm guessing. And then we have blue gold beauties. 
blush cherry, and finally the green grape. And that is all I'm going to show you for this video, and I'll show you the rest um, in a couple days. Thanks for watching.